Over the next few minutes, we will explain how to enter an adjustment in AR. We will use the following example. Let's assume that we have performed some service work on a client's site and have invoiced a customer for $600 plus tax. An error was made when entering the invoice into the system and the sales amount recorded was only $500 plus tax. We will use the adjustment entry screen to adjust the amount invoiced. It is important to note that these adjustment entries should be made within the account receivable and not via a journal entry in the general ledger. By creating adjustments in accounts receivable, the appropriate entries will get transferred to the general ledger program from the AR module. If you were to create journal entries in the general ledger, the GL amounts would be correct within the general ledger. However, transactions would not be sent back to the receivable module. As a result, you would have discrepancies between AR and GL, meaning that you would not be able to reconcile your AR back to your GL. After an adjustment batch has been created, let's look at the specifics of entering an adjustment. Under Accounts Receivable, select AR Transactions and double-click Adjustment Entry. Select the existing batch. We could use this button to create a new batch. Enter a description for the batch, type a description next to the entry number, and confirm or enter the relevant dates. Select a customer. In this case, we will use customer number 1200. You can optionally enter a description in the reference field. In the document number field, enter the document that you will be adjusting. Notice that the document balance and payment balance fields auto-populate. In the details section, enter the adjustment details. To begin, we will reverse the amounts that were originally entered. Once those amounts have been entered, we will enter the correct data. Let's start with the reversing entries. We debit the revenue account by $500. We debit our sales tax account, and we also debit our county tax. Note that it is not necessary to manually reverse the original account's receivable account. To make the accounting equation balance, the system will automatically debit or credit the appropriate value to our AR account. These entries effectively zero out the amounts that were on the original invoice. Now, Let's enter the amounts that should have been entered in the first place. Remember, we sold $600 in services and will thus credit our sales account by that amount. As a reminder, it is important to note that the taxes must be computed manually. Adjustments don't automatically calculate the tax. Let's calculate and enter the sales tax amount manually for the sales tax and for the county tax. If we have a look at our totals, we notice that the net amount to our receivables account will be $108.25. This is the difference between the original invoice and the adjusting entry that we're creating here. After verifying that the amounts are correct, click on the Add button. If you need to make changes to the adjustment, you can do so if the batch has not been posted. That's how you enter the adjustment entry details when creating adjustments. Congratulations, you now know how to enter an adjustment in Sage 300.